YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. I have a Windows optimization fast track for you guys. You guys are going to love this. I've spent a long, long time in the making of this. And I've made it a simple and easy pain-free method for you guys. You're going to love it. I apologize about the big file size. But it's the only way to make this fast tracked and easy as possible. Imagine installing Windows, right? Having an ISO file and only needing to follow 12 steps. That's what we're looking at here. So your game launchers are all there. Everything's there. Even Google Chrome, everything. 7-zip, notepad, everything, all right? Power plan will be done. Time of resolution will be done for you. All control panel settings, all immersive control panel settings. Everything in the name of performance, absolutely done for you and everything, okay? So sharing ISO files has always been a little bit of a gray area and I've been very reluctant to do that on YouTube. But it's time to take that step. If Microsoft has an issue with it, that's fine. I'll take it down because I'm also doing another video following up to this, how I made it and the files to make it so you guys can make it for yourself modify it in any way, shape or form you like. So if Microsoft wants me to take it down or they're not happy with it, that's fine. People can, can follow the other video and make it for themselves. So guys, in saying that, go to the Mega NZ. There'll be a link in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Now guys, I appreciate it if you would hit that sub button and the notification button. And if you guys feel generous, please give me a little bit of a donation. It'll help me out a lot because I actually had to pay Mega NZ so the servers wouldn't get throttled when you guys download. So technically, you guys can use my bandwidth to download through Mega NZ. This was sort of the only way. I know these file sizes are really big. The 10 final is about 8, 9 gig. The 11 final is about 8.8 .8 gigs. So it's really, really large. And I get that, but it's the only way to make this incredibly fast tracked. Once you guys have downloaded the ISO file, go ahead and follow one of these videos. I've shown different methods on how to install Windows. I'm not going to be covering that here. Let's get stuck straight into it. So guys, I've made my bootable media. First step before we go ahead and do the install, there's a pre-install folder you can open. Go ahead and open that. Don't get confused. Everything's ready to go. Here's a shortcut. Check for BIOS update. You can press Control C on there and then open the next shortcut and then you can press Control V on here. Okay. Go ahead, download your BIOS file, put it on your USB stick or your hard drive or whatever and go update BIOS. Redo your overclocks if you need to, especially if you're on first release BIOS. I don't want you to get off that. Okay. Here's another quick step. Just check that your graphics card is all good. So check that, you know, you're in the right configuration. It's in the top slot. Uh, you're in 16 times and 4.0. You've got resizable bar on. Great. Good to go. Check your RAM channels. Make sure you're in slots two and four. If you've got two sticks, make sure XMP is on. Make sure everything's stable and safe. This is really important. I want Windows to be, I want your PC, especially your CPU and RAM config to be completely stable and safe because there's nothing worse than doing a fresh Windows install and something not being right, like a faulty RAM stick or something like that, CPU overheating, which will corrupt the Windows system files. It's going to make everything not nice. I've seen it happen plenty of times before. Open hardware info. Go ahead and run Prime95 for a little bit. Make sure you're getting no errors and you know the CPU isn't overheating or anything like that. I've covered this in other videos. You guys get the point. But it's to save time. And then separately, go ahead and run the RAM stress test. So you run this, then click load, config, and exit. It's the absolute config that we want to run. So we open that. And then you can close it out and then you open it again as administrator and this is going to run the config so this ram stress usually takes two to three hours just to make sure your ram is stable you guys don't have to do this step these steps if you think your pc is stable but i just want to make sure you need to know that your pc is stable before you go ahead and reinstall windows and get all the optimizations done because stability is the most important thing all right now we're going to reinstall windows there is a auto unattended file. So we'll skip a lot of steps here. It is going to install Windows 10 Pro guys, just so you know, but there's no really work around it. So if you need to buy a key, I've got this affiliate link down in the description below. You can get a Windows 10 Pro key for about 10 bucks or so. It's not much. Um, either all, we're ready to go. So let's install so Windows. Just to let you guys know, um, Trusted Platform Module is going to be bypassed with this. So if you guys have an older system and want to install Windows 11, you'll actually be able to do that with this. Basically, the best way to bypass Trusted Platform Module is use the Windows 10 installation files, but just change the install Wim over from Windows 11. So that's what has been done here. Okay. So anyway, let's continue on. Just to show you guys that I have Trusted Platform Module off and I'm still able to get through the install. So that's disabled. Now, you usually wouldn't be able to get past this screen if uh, you need a trusted platform module with Windows 11, and I've actually got it disabled, so it's working and we're good. So that's the only screen that you should actually see doing the install. Everything else is bypassed, like all the opt-ins and outs, Cortana, all that other stuff. Your local account's already going to be set up. Um, you know, everything's going to be entered in and done really, really fast track. The, the auto unattended is super nice like that, so everything's going to be automated. PC's going to restart a few times, and we'll see the desktop straight away. All right, guys, so going through the installation process, I'd recommend unplugging the Ethernet cable. Reason being, I don't want Windows Update um, downloading uh, you know, random generic 
graphics driver, which is going to kind of make it a little bit messy when we go and install our own. Now, that's all prepared, ready to go for you guys. You're going to love it. In saying that, let's continue on. So I want you to go straight to the yellow folder on the taskbar, okay? And I want you to go to this PC, and I want you to go to C drive. Once you've gone to C drive, I want you to go to installers. Really simple and straightforward. We need to open task manager because a lot of these are silent installs. It's going to be super quick. So press control shift escape. All right. And then go to more details and just leave this up at the side here. I want you to run C++. This should install all the C++ packages silently. So like I said, a lot of these are silent installs. So just in task manager, find um, that, which is, this is the installer here. Just wait for that to disappear. And then it's completely finished and installed. Okay, that's disappeared. Time to install DirectX. Double click on that. Once again, it's a silent install. So click on that. Wait for it to disappear. DirectX is installed. Okay, DirectX is installed. You guys can go ahead and install any of the launches that you want here ready to go. So 7-Zip just to extract files if you want. It's better than WinRAR. Notepad++ if you ever want to edit config files. If you double click, most of these are silent installs. So if you double click them, like for example, me double clicking Chrome, it's going to silently install in the background and you should see a shortcut on the desktop and you'll be good to go. So in saying that, guys, you're going to love this. If you install OBS or Streamlabs, it's going to be a config pre-applied in a script for you. You're going to love it. Notepad++, config pre-applied. Spotify, hardware acceleration and Discord are already going to be disabled. Same with Discord, hardware acceleration and boot on startup are already going to be disabled. Microsoft Edge, boot on startup, hardware acceleration disabled. Same with Chrome. Um, you know, a lot of stuff is already going to be done and automated. Don't so bother installing the rest of it here and wasting our time. Let's make this video quick, short and simple as possible. Anyway, let's go to optimization. Okay, what I want you to do is start with number one. I'm going to install an internet driver. Now, for some of you guys that have maybe one of the newer motherboards, you might do, need to install one of these. For the other guys out there, let's open device manager and we'll install whatever you have. These are the updated latest ones. I've grabbed all of them to be safe. So I'm going to go to device manager. Some of you guys might be right in here. Okay. Um, but for me, there's already pre-installed one through my, uh, Windows 11. But for some of you guys, it might not. It might just say Ethernet driver here. You would have to right-click Ethernet driver and go update driver. For, for me, I'm just going to go ahead and update mine. So it's pretty straightforward where the files are. C drive, optimization, installs, and Internet drivers, OK. And then next, and it's going to pick up the one that you actually need. They're all in there ready to go, so it should be automated. Once we've done that, should be able to go and close all this out. Click close. OK. And let us go back into optimization folder. Okay, so go ahead and install your internet driver and choose whether you want to have the minimum driver installed or with GeForce Experience up to you. Just to let you guys know, this is the third latest driver. The two newer ones are a little bit buggy. It's got number five in the beginning of it. I've just went with a safe, stable one that will work for all games. If you guys want to update after this, that's fine. Be, be my guest. Same with AMD. This is the recommended latest. So pretty straightforward. Go ahead and install if you want to install the full driver or the minimal driver up to you. I'm just going to be going ahead and installing the minimal driver. Okay. And I don't need to do a factory reset because we haven't actually connected the internet yet. And there hasn't been another, hasn't been another, another driver installed at all. So this is just starting from a clean slate. So I've installed my graphics driver. Now it's going to be totally safe for you guys to connect the internet. So go ahead and unplug in your ethernet. Um, cable or connect to Wi-Fi, whatever you, you have, that's fine. Go ahead and to updates and updates paused. What I want you guys to do is go ahead and download all the updates. You might have to restart a few times and check again. Just get it fully updated for me. Once you've done that, pause it for five weeks and you'll be good to go. Now, I won't bother updating it in this video to show you guys. So I'm just going to keep that Ethernet cable unplugged. But that's what I want you guys to do first before you follow through any other steps. So yep, update completely and pause for five weeks. Done. Next thing, go ahead and check activation. Now, because this is Windows 10 Pro, you, some of you guys might need a key. There's an affiliate link down in the description below. We can get a really cheap key for about $10 or so. I'd recommend getting one of those so you can get your Windows activated. Once you've done that, you go to the next step. Time, language, and region, pretty straightforward. These are all things that manually need to be changed, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So I'm in the down under land. So I'm going to go ahead and select my time, region, and language and press sync now. And once I have done that, I'm going to exit out of that. Now, post install. You'll love this, guys. This is really, really automated. Spent a lot of time on this. So we're going to run post install. Okay. Now, it's going to follow each script time at a time. So it's disabled hibernate. hibernate. Press any key to continue. Install our power plan. All right. Super easy, simple, and straightforward. Saves a lot of time. Power plan done. Ready to go for you guys. Okay. Import NVIDIA settings. Now, if you have an NVIDIA card, you won't see a bug at all. It'll just say 
video settings are applied because I'm on an AMD card. It just comes up with an error message, ignore it. So yeah, manage 3D settings will already be done for you there. Boom, done, press any key to continue. Okay, install timer resolution service. So you guys don't need to run Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. I don't recommend or you know, bother with it anymore. I don't believe in clearing standby memory. So as you can see here, there's a service that will always run and you'll see it in Task Manager and it will force max timer resolution service all the time. Super nice power performance tweak. Continue on, this rebuilds performance counters. Something that I like to do every so often. Press any key, continue again. Okay, now it's gonna apply registry keys. So don't freak out a lot's gonna happen here. This is gonna do all our control panel settings, immersive control panel settings. It's gonna ump in everything from taskbar. It's gonna do a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So just press yes and everything should be done and then press okay. So registry tweaks are done. Now we press the space bar again to continue. This is gonna transfer some config files, Discord, Spotify, other stuff like that, OBS settings, Streamlab settings. I have some basic configs ready to get you guys going so that it'll save some time. You guys will really appreciate that. So press any key to continue. Now it's gonna run the debloat script. Wait it out now, it's gonna take a little while. It's gonna remove a whole bunch of the Windows apps that you're really not gonna use. Now guys, it's not gonna break anything. I've made it in a certain way, it won't break anything. If you guys really need the calculator back, it's okay. Go to the Windows store and re-download it, it will work. But this removes a bunch of the Windows apps that you really, really don't need. I didn't remove any of the ones that break anything, okay? So press any key to continue. Okay, now it's gonna ask for a restart of the PC. So you press any key and it will restart the PC for you. Okay guys, that's all done. So everything's really nice and clean. Now you won't have a file explorer on the taskbar. If you need it back, just go into the start menu and go pin to taskbar. If you need that back completely, we'll continue on with the optimizations, all right? Go to the optimization, scroll down. Now we need to go to MSI mode. If you have a 2000 series graphics card or under, you'll have to go in here and go ahead and select your NVIDIA graphics card. Make sure MSI mode is on and press apply. That's all you will need to do, okay? Go to sounds tab your sounds a lot of this stuff is already done as you can see this is done and this is done which is super nice this registry key doesn't work so unfortunately if you want that turned off you have to manually do it go ahead and set your sounds up however you like it done now if you've got an amd card follow through these steps okay go ahead and do your amd settings now unfortunately i couldn't apply a config to import and export because it would work with my graphics card but it wouldn't work with other people's graphics card so i have left that out but there's really not much you need to change in the amd control panel so just go ahead display arrange displays Go and set your resolution and refresh rate correctly. That's all you should need to do, okay? And in saying that, go ahead and go to graphics. And the only things I'd really recommend bother changing would be um, turn VSync off, okay? Put texture filtering to performance. Go to tessellation mode, override application um, settings and turn off. That's all you really need to do with the AMD control panel, okay, guys? That's pretty straightforward. But anyway... This other stuff is to disable uh, P states, so to disable the, the graphics card from downclocking. I've covered that in the AMD video. You guys will appreciate that if you've seen that video, okay? All right, and in saying that, NVIDIA settings, you guys will go in here, your managed 3D settings will already be done. All you need to do is probably set your refresh rate and some other things, personal preference stuff like colors. So in saying that, go ahead and run cleanup. A whole bunch of stuff's gonna pop up, saves time. Go ahead and delete all the temp files, okay? And then this is the other temp folder location. Go ahead and delete that. And then you should also have a disk cleanup. So go ahead and select all these. All right. It'll do a disk cleanup. And once you've done that, go ahead and wait for that to finish and then do a system restore point. You're good to go. Now, for the extra stuff, there is another folder here that says other. Okay. You can open that. Right. Go. That takes you back to the AMD settings. This will take you to some nice handy tools if you want to do a bit of a CPU or memory overclock. This is for doing a graphics card overclock. So if you want to, you can open MSI Afterburner, then open River Tuner to get MSI Afterburner to work properly. So open both, okay? Then close both. Now when you open MSI Afterburner, both will open. And you guys will appreciate this. Any pre-installed apps that I have, which are portable apps, are gonna be in your start menu. Tools that you'll always need, super convenient, super easy. So as you can see, MSI Afterburner, you open, good to go. And then also I have a pre-applied config for MSI Afterburner. If you guys ever open a game or anything like that and you want to see what, how, how it's all running in the background, pre-apply config. Looks a little bit wonky here because of my 5950X, but it works really, really well on other CPUs. It'll be cleaned up where the CPU will be on top there. So super nice, you guys. Saves a lot of time, a lot of effort. Windows Store apps automatically updates, disabled. Google Chrome, hardware acceleration startup, Discord hardware 
conversation is startup. Same with Spotify, same with Microsoft Edge, hardware acceleration startup disabled. All done for you guys. All done for you guys. Nice little thought here. Occasionally check. Maybe in a couple of months, just come in here, check auto runs, delete temp files, disk cleanup. If you guys need to enable game bar again, because the way game bar is, it doesn't let you turn it on and off within this Windows, Windows 11. So it's actually turned off. If you guys use game bar, go ahead and you can run re-enable game bar. Okay, manually, but it's actually disabled just to let you guys know. Same thing again, just some basic things you can simply check, which is super, super nice. But just to show you guys, some things I can't automate, unfortunately, is the start menu, as well as it is in AMD, the AMD control panel menu. And also, unfortunately, this uh, taskbar I can't automate to show all apps, so it is what it is. Just a quick little peek and preview on everything that's done. Okay, super nice. Let me give you an example. Ease of access center, say sticky keys, stuff like that. It's all turned off. All done for you guys. If you guys need any of that stuff, you can quite simply go in and turn it back on. All right. Immersive control panel, and I'll show you guys some nice stuff that's done here. We have personalization, everything's done all in here. Apps, as you can see, we've got a nice clean slate here. If I go to apps and uh, apps and features, nice clean state. Okay. All that stuff's gone. If you need to calculate our stuff back, just go to the Microsoft Store and install it. I recommend leaving these because if you ever you need to use the Xbox Game Pass, it's really buggy if you uninstall and reinstall these. So. They're just completely left. Background apps are disabled. A whole bunch of stuff in here is already done, guys. As an example, privacy and security. Go in here. Go ahead to, to, to location. Location turned off. Everything is done super nice and clean. I've obviously left. I've left camera, microphone, and I've also left a screenshot board, a screenshot on because those are some things that people actually like to use. That you can turn them off if you want. Everything else is done in here, and it's all automated. So guys, that covers the quick optimization pack. That covers absolutely everything that matters that you should do within your Windows. Don't bother following other guides, trying to do more with Windows. You're wasting your time. If you want more of the system, it really comes down to hardware or doing overclocks. Look at overclocking your RAM, overclocking your CPU, getting better RAM, something like that. That's actually going to matter more. Everything is done here that matters. As you can see, one drive is gone. A whole bunch of other stuff is gone. This is all covered in a future video in-depth guide so i'll cover it all then you guys can check it out if you want and i'll actually show you guys how i made this and how to make this iso image file so guys like i said put a lot of evidence to this so i appreciate a little bit of a donation make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button and also turn notifications on to support me if you guys have got any feedback about this um iso install i'd really really appreciate it. i'd like to keep it regularly updated if any of you guys got a better method to do things or maybe even a more fast track way rather than 12 steps I'd appreciate to hear it because I would like to keep this updated and share it with the community. Enjoy, guys. Put a lot of time and effort into this. It took a long time, but I'm really, really happy with it. So I hope it saves you guys a lot of time and headache and hassle to redo and install. See you guys in the next video, guys. Thanks very much. Bye.